Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Green Gourmet. It's getting warmer outside, but I think that we can still do with soups for another month or so. And I thought that I could share this recipe that I've been making for so many years. It's a celery, so a celery root, apples, onion, very simple, very easy. Celery has got this very rough outside, but inside the pulp is white. It's delicious because it's... It's, of course, a cousin to celery, but uh, the taste is not as strong and it goes uh, very well in a soup. And it's got this very delicate taste. It's full of uh, minerals, vitamins, and bonus, it's got very little calories. And here I add the hazelnut at the end, which actually adds this crunchy note, which is fantastic. But let's get down to cooking. But before we do that, please subscribe to my channel, Green Gourmet. Like, share and comment here below if you make this recipe. Let me know what you think about it. And if you have any doubts, just go ahead and ask. First of all, we clean up the celeriac root. I uh, try and not to slice off uh, too much. Uh, just uh, the minimum necessary to get it cleaned off uh, from uh, the thick outside. And then just chop it up very coarsely, just as I'm showing here in the recipe. No more than that. Uh, because it's got to go then in a pan with a little bit of uh, olive oil. And at that point, you actually start roasting the celeriac on its own. Then uh, once you've done that, you move on to the onion. The onion for this recipe, again, has got to be very coarsely chopped because it's going to go in the pan together with the celeriac and we are going to blend it at the end to make our cream, to make our soup. So don't bother making it too thin. And then the apple. In this recipe, there is an apple that goes in. Um, I use a golden apple because I really like that. It's very sweet in this recipe. And I don't peel it because my apples are organic. If you're not using organic, I really recommend you peel it. But if you don't and you leave the peel on, it's absolutely fantastic because it's going to add to the creaminess and thickness of the soup. Then you just dump all the onion and the apples in the pan along with the celeriac root and it's celeriac and you actually just roast the veggies for a couple of minutes. You add one glass of white wine which is going to give from my point of view this recipe a special kick and once the white wine has fully evaporated you add the vegetable broth. I'm adding more or less a half a liter here. It really depends on your taste. I like this cream to be very thick. I like very thick, creamy soups. But if you like it to be slightly more runny, you can add a little more vegetable broth. It really depends on personal taste from my point of view. You cover the veggies, you let them cook for 20 minutes approximately. It's very, very easy, very quick to prepare. Once the veggies are done cooking, just blend it. I like to think that it's a comfort food because it's uh, very fast to cook, but it's also like very hearty, very creamy. I use the hazelnuts on top for the extra crunch and a little bit of uh, uh, soy cream. But if you don't like it, just don't use it. I use parsley, but paprika goes fantastic with the apples. And you can use some Parmesan crisps. It's al bacio. And if you don't try it, you're missing out. I hope you like this recipe and let me know what you think about it. And if I did leave you longing for more, subscribe to my channel, Green Gourmet. And thank you very much. See you very soon on Green Gourmet for another recipe, another adventure and a new video. Bye for now.